or I will tell you why. A person, number one, a person respect himself. Even if he did such a thing, he will never go speak about it. And don't tell me those people, the Muslims, they were watching. There is no way people, they will knew this unless Muhammad and his wives are a bunch of filthy, trash people. Do you like your wife, Muslims, to go out in the street and tell people what, what, what you did to her yesterday? Do you like your wife to go in the street and tell people that you pushed something in her, in her vagina? Huh? What kind of a wife you have? And what kind of a husband he will tell people about what it's pushed inside the vagina of his wife? In the same time, we need to ask ourselves a question. Muhammad, he has 13 wives, the idiot. If one of them have, have menstruation, she is ble bleeding, why don't go to a different wife? Like, you know what? If he is a Christian guy, he have only one wife, I would say, okay, this guy, you know, he don't want to maybe commit sin. Uh, he don't want to do something wrong. Uh, he, this is his lawful wife. And he have no other choice. And maybe his wife, she is okay with it. But look, you have 13 wives, 11 wives at the same time. 13 as total, you know. Actually, the total, according to the Muslims, are 15. There's two, two, two wives, Muhammad, he could not have sex with them. Uh... According to Muslims, by the way, not according to me. So Muhammad have a lot of choices. Have another, you know, if one of them she have period, he have, you know, ten left, ten wives. They can open their legs for him widely. For, excuse my language. So this filthy man is still. This is not enough. He pushed something inside her vagina. In the same time, the hypocrite Muhammad he tell the Muslims that don't do that to your wife. We believe it? Let me show you from the Quran. Muhammad told them, don't get close to your wife when she have her period. Let me show you. Chapter 2, verse number 222. You can choose any, any, any false translation you want because all of them they are false. I don't accept any translation, but I use the Muslim translation to beat Islam. Hmm? So thank you Muslims. You know, even you try to fool people, we will use your translation, which is going to expose Islam even better. They ask the concerning women courses, say they are hurt and pollution. So keep away from women in their courses, uh oh, and do not approach them approach them until they are clean. And when they are clean, okay, approach them. Okay, just wait. So Muhammad, not only a filthy man, Muhammad, he don't even follow his book. His God said, do not approach women when they are in their period. Do not, it's, it, the, the order is very clear, do not. So keep away from women in their courses and do not approach them until they are clean. Read it with me. So when you can approach them? Only when they are clean. Okay, question. Why Muhammad is not doing that? He don't believe in his Quran? Or his holy penis is above the law of Allah? Or his penis don't care for Allah's words? And Allah orders. It's very clear that Muhammad he made this law for all the Muslims but not for himself. Muhammad penis is above Allah and above his word and his teaching. And this is showing us the hypocrisy. Because when a teacher and he's a prophet he tell people to do something and he says this is not lawful and then he do it in his house. It means he is a filthy man. And a hypocrite and should not be trusted and believed in. And as long, long the Quran saying, you do not get close to them until they are clean. So pushing a, a piece of a clothes, this is, does not make the women clean. The, the verse is so clear. When they are in their courses, they are not lawful for you to have sex with them. But when they have purified themselves, huh? read it, then they are lawful for you again. So, 
Muhammad have many wives. He have many choices. He don't have to go for this woman. She have a she have appeared, but still he do it. Go on against his God law, which is not even a law. It's just a joke, huh? Showing his hypocrisy, he says something. He do something else. Now how you can trust a man? He told you that the best man of mankind is the one who follow Allah law, but he himself he don't follow it. He himself he screw it. He himself he use his even his penis is not controlled by his God law. Nothing control Muhammad specifically when it's come to his penis. His penis is above Allah. His penis is in the top of his heaven. His penis in the top of his Quran and the penis of Muhammad in the top of every order of Allah. And who care? Muhammad penis happy. Muslims are happy. Follow with me with more videos. I hope you guys are enjoying our videos. And don't forget to get my book. It's called The Deception of Allah. You can find it on Amazon.com and tell your friends about it. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. Amen.